All right, I'm going to start out uh, sharpening a universal. This is a um, H67, it's an anterior scalar. And so of course the universal, we're going to sharpen on both sides. I'm first going to check on my um, stick how sharp it is and see how it kind of skids across. It doesn't necessarily grab, it's um, got a little bit of a stutter. So I'm gonna know that that side needs to be sharpened um, and this side as well. It's it, If it grabs right away, then we know it's sharp. This side I have sharpened, so I can tell that we've got a little bit more of a grab. So I'm going to sharpen this side right here. Um, as I, you probably are familiar with your sharpening, the most important thing is this terminal shank is going to be perpendicular to the floor. And then you're going to take your stone. I usually hold my instrument in the non-dominant hand, so my left hand, and I hold it in the modified pin grasp just because that's what I'm used to. Some people like to hold it like this, so that we don't have any movement, so they have it in their fist, but I'm just so used to holding an instrument like this, that's what I do. So I have the terminal shank, again, perpendicular to the floor, and then I'm gonna take my stone, I hold my middle finger on the bottom, thumb on the top, and my index finger for pressure, and I'm going to go three minutes past 12 o'clock, if we had a clock that was at the top here of our instrument. And you get a pretty good amount of um, pressure, usually see a little bit of smoke and you see that the shavings kind of coming across that blade. Now because this is a um, pointed tip, we're just going to come right off the tip. We're not going to come around. Okay, right like that. Um, and then we can check it and it grabs right along. So that is that is your 6-7, that's an anterior um, sickle scalar. I'm gonna do another universal, which this is a 204S. Some people, you may not be familiar with the 204S. It's kind of, you would sharpen it the same way as like your Barnhart, um, but it is a sickle, so we are gonna go off the end instead of um, around the edge, like I'll show you on a curette. Um, so for this one, again, the terminal shank is going to be um, perpendicular to the floor, so you can see how I have to hold my hand offset, but I've got to keep that uh, relationship to the um, blade. So I'm again going to go three minutes past 12. And you go from the back, the heel, all the way to the toe. You don't want to start midway or you're going to um, create a weak spot. And then on the other side, since it's a universal, again, we're going to go on the other side as well. So, and when you go to check it, you're going to hold it just as you would to use it. So again, the terminal shank is um, perpendicular, I mean parallel to like what this would be considered the long axis. You can see my stick's gotten kind of, that's what happens when it gets autoclaved a few times. All right, let's go to a site-specific curette. Um, and I usually wear my loops when I sharpen, just so that you can tell. Now again, remember, your terminal shank perpendicular to the floor, and the way you tell which side the blade is on is it's tipped towards the floor. So we know this is our blade. Um, and just like a universal, we're going to line it up perpendicular to the ground. The only thing that's different is we're going to turn the face so that it's parallel to the floor. So because on a curette our um, face is offset, our blade is offset, we've got to just make a little bit of an adjustment for that. Um, and once we have made that adjustment, then it's again the same thing, three minutes past 12, going from the heel. And this time we've got a rounded toe, so we're just gonna round all the way around that toe. So this is my uh, 13, 14. And I didn't, well, did I get it? I don't think I got it enough all the way to the tip. So remember that um, you are you are sharpening heel to toe, but the most important we know is this very tip that we're going to keep in contact with our tooth. So we wanna make sure we've got that tip really sharp. Oh, that's good. You can hear it. You can hear it grab on when it's real sharp. Okay, so this is an 1112. Um, no, I just did the 1112. This is our 1314. Oh, that's not too bad. This one needs sharpening. So we'll go on this side. So you know on your, um, again, with your um, 
with your curette, you're going to hold it um, perpendicular to the floor. The side that is angled down is going to be your blade side. And then it's mirrored, so when you go to do the other side, you're going to do flip it around and do the opposite side. So start there. Um, now, I, I've talked in my uh, other video about the, the stone that I'm using. This is a Hugh Freedy dual grit. Um, so the white, you can see I've, I've got grooves in it. I've used it so much, but the blue is a little bit more coarse. So if I can't get it with the white, I can flip it to the blue. Um, if you're using a stone that has like this kind of a stone, you can go, like if you're using a universal, you can just go here on this side, here on this side. So you don't have to flip your stone. A lot of people get really into like trying to figure out how they're going to change hands or change the stone and you really can go one side and the other side. So I think, I think that's about it. Just remembering that with your curette, you're going around the toe. With your um, sickles, you're going off the end, um, making sure that you've got that terminal shank and the relationship, and then just three minutes before, three minutes after. So um, I had made a comment that I can do a whole set in like three minutes, and it's just because you get those basics down of how to hold it, you get the angle down, and it's really quite quick. So hopefully that helps, and happy sharpening.